All right, this is a little training video. This is for Marty. Uh, so I wanted to show you what I did here with um, this graphic button. So I created this graphic uh, image. Um, actually did this in PowerPoint, uh, but uh, got that created. Um, and the best way to get quality text on there, since you know PowerPoint's really not a graphics program, um, it's hard to get um, decent looking text um, on the graphic itself. So that's the graphic. Um, to get it on there, and I'll send you um, this blank graphic and you can use it yourself, um, or I can make the changes for you, um, whatever you would like to do. Um, let me close these down here. Um, but the program I use to do that, and uh, it's pretty versatile, is paint.net. And it's pretty pretty simple program to use. You can go to um, um, okay, so this is uh, paint.net. So if you go to a website called getpaint.net, um, you can download this for free uh, and install it. So it's a free program. And uh, so I'm going to take and open that. So there's two steps here. There's one is to put the uh, text onto the the graphic, and then the other thing we need to do is resize the graphic. Uh, so in its default format, I keep it pretty big because um, it makes it a little bit easier to um, put your uh, text on there. Um, and then I resize the graphic down to a smaller size. So the first step was putting on the uh, the text. So over here on the left is your text uh, option there. And I just used Arial. You can change it. Um, for the main part, I did 72 as the uh, font size. Um, come on, computer's running slow here. Alright, so 72. Put text here. Alright, so you can put your text on there. And uh, make changes. And actually, I usually will um, add a new layer. All right, so there's that one. Now, um, the text for the button there. Again, I still used Arial. Uh, I changed it to a size 36. So the top one is, su is 72. Um, 36, and I used bold. And I did caps lock. Click here. And then if you grab the little icon there, you can move it and center it on where you want it. Same with the top, you can, well that's already done. So, kind of the thing that happens is once you put it on there um, and you go to another layer, it's, um, it's a little harder to switch back and forth, but there are ways to do that. Um, but basically that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, then what you want to do, so this is the background for button, um, JPEG. Um, you just want to make sure that you save it as um, the file name that you want to use. Um, so, um, and save it as a JPEG. So you got all these different options. You want to save it as JPEG. And this is the new file name. Um, so, put text here button and save. Okay, so it's going to ask me what quality. I always put it up at 100% highest quality. Click OK. It's going to ask you to flatten it. Basically just means that you know, it has to put that text in as a part of the image. Alright, so that's um, got it saved now. and We've got our text on there. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is go to image and we're going to resize. And so um, the size that we're using on these is 250 by 145. Um, it's the final size. 
um, so you just want to make sure you always do that the same uh, so that you get consistency in the in the images and we'll say OK so it resizes it makes it a lot smaller and then save it and there you go so now we'll go back over here and take a look at it and there's our button so yeah if you expand it the start to pixelate uh, but anyway uh, at that size it looks uh, looks pretty good uh, so that's it if you have more questions I'll be more than happy to help you out and uh, we can uh, get you uh, get you all squared away thank you bye